Sister Wide's critics believe that the family of Cody Brown dreamed up a pack of lies over the years. Often, articles discuss one lie or another. However, not every single fan of the TLC show thinks they plan it that way. So are many people overestimating the severity of them? It's not to say that the Brown family never lies. After all, by her own admission, Mary Brown stayed on the edges of her family for years. She claimed that Cody refused to admit their relationship was over in a statement, so she strummed it along and enraged fans for disempowering women. In fact, critics felt that their lie made her come off as humiliating herself. Another big lie came when fans agreed that Robin deliberately stirred the pot along with Cody Brown. That referred to the time when the sister wives patriarch said he picked out Robin Brown's wedding dress, but she later denied it. For many TLC fans, that came as the first sign of plotting, scheming, and manipulation. The show was all a lie. They were lying to us. I keep seeing this, and it's becoming one of those things that the fandom is just accepting as fact. And frankly, this type of thing is a ridiculous oversimplification of what happened. Does nobody understand that nuance around here? They didn't all sit around a table and say, he, let's make a show, but make up all these good things about ourselves. Defending the family of Cody Brown, they added that some things about their lives were better back then. The fan felt that they were telling themselves things were even better than they were. Additionally, they might have tried to differentiate themselves from Warren Jeffs. Plus, they were just simply on TV. At the end of the rant, the TLC fan felt that it was the viewers lying to themselves when they claimed the family spun a web of lies. In the comments, a lot of Sister Wives fans agreed that perhaps there was some exaggerating of the lies. After all, people change over the years. Here are some of their comments. Asterisk, I think the women all act very much like abused women. They don't realize how bad things were, and they were forcing themselves to buy into an alternative reality for the first 20 plus years of their marriage to convince themselves it wasn't that bad. Asterisk, Reddit in general and any of the reality TV subs do not do nuance well, nor do they consider context well. They forget there is middle ground. Aside from that, it's also rampant with rumors turned facts simply by their repetition. Asterisk, people change over time. Even change their minds about things. I too hate it when others take that as lying initially. Since finally leaving Cody Brown, Sister Wives star Mary Brown has been growing her business empire and donning business attire while doing it. Marrying in 1990, Mary was Cody's first wife, and they had one child together. Over the years, Cody married three additional wives, Janelle Brown, Christine Brown, and Robin Brown. Between all of his wives, he had 18 children, which included Robin's three children from her first marriage. Though Mary loved Cody until the end, he stopped caring for her long before they officially ended their relationship in 2022. Mary had entered into a polygamous lifestyle for ideological reasons, and she stuck around longer than she should have. Even after Christine and Janelle left in 2021 and 2022 respectively, Mary kept trying to make it work. Eventually, Cody's neglect got to be too much, and the Sister Wives season 18 star left. Since then, Mary has been growing her business empire and dressing for it, like in a cake song, short skirt slash long jacket. Mary has always had an entrepreneurial spirit. Even back when she was married to Cody, she and her Sister Wives tried their hands at various ventures from the jewelry store to the clothing store and even a 2012 New York Times best-selling book called Becoming Sister Wives. The Story of Unconventional Marriage Near the end of her marriage to Cody, Mary inherited her grandmother's house. She had always dreamed of turning it into a bed and breakfast. She asked Cody for a loan, but he refused. The ever-resourceful Mary was able to get the money herself. Mary's official website, she has continued to grow her empire since leaving Cody. A scroll down the page finds Mary's business portfolio. From motivational speaking engagements to product lines, every project is a reflection of Mary's belief in the power of self-worth reads the website copy, followed by a list of her business ventures. In addition to the B&B, &B, Mary works with Park Lane and Cameo. Another company that Mary currently works with is LuLaRoe, which is a company that she has worked with for a long time. In November 2019, Mary posted a photo of herself in business attire topped off with a striking yellow leather motorcycle jacket. The caption reads, Well, hello, Presley Motor Jacket. Welcome to existence. But seriously, how can I not keep every single color for myself? This photo was taken before Mary left Cody and lost weight. The post has 15.7k likes. In June 2024, Mary posted to Instagram about her appearance on the Misunderstood podcast, which is posted on YouTube. Mary opted for a polished professional look in business attire, wearing a beige blazer. She dished a lot of dirt during the hour-plus long interview. For one, she revealed that Christine is proud about having run off more than one of Cody's potential wives over the years. Mary also spilled the tea about the fact that Janelle was married to Mary's brother. Mary revealed that it was very awkward for her at first, because Janelle had left her brother before marrying Cody. 
She also confirmed that Janelle and Mary's brother weren't in a polygamous relationship, and their marriage didn't take place within their church. The fact came up that Janelle's mother is currently married to Cody's father, but they can delve into the subject any further. In August 2023, Mary posted a photo with her friend Tina Balser. In the photo, the women are posing together at what appears to be an event. The Sister Wives star wore a bold green blazer layered over a pink top, and looked very business chick. The post has 5.9k likes, and a caption reads, Leveling up my life and business is something I'm taking a very active role in. After Christine and Janelle left Cody, the Browns were divided in two. On one side were Christine and Janelle, and on the other side were Cody and Robin. Since Mary was still Cody's wife at the time, she chose Cody and Robin, which separated her from her former sister wives and all of their children. When Mary left Cody, she was on her own. With her only child all grown up and living far away, Mary has leaned on friends in good times and bad. Since leaving Cody, Mary has been open about wanting to find love again. Despite the heartbreak of her divorce, Mary has managed to keep her heart open. Her love life seemed to improve when she met Amos Andrews. The two got very serious very quickly, and fans were hopeful. Christine had met David Woolley soon after leaving Cody and the two were married. Hopes were high that the same would happen for Mary and Amos. Sadly, the relationship ended a few short months later. Though Mary's relationship with Amos may not have been the fairy tale she hoped for, the fact that she was able to end things once she saw the red signs is a step in the right direction for the Sister Wives star. Despite all the disappointments, Mary continues to believe in love. There's no word on whether the Sister Wives star is currently dating anyone.